and the amazing staff that run this campus. Um, I'm now going to hand over to um, our Vice President um, and she will tell you a bit more about us. Thank you very much.
and also the contract or part-time lectures that we uh, that we source to offer some of the specialist modules. And uh, honors degrees, master's degrees, and doctorates are held uh, by our lecturers uh, in, in different faculties. So a very well-qualified, well-experienced uh, teaching staff. The college prospectus, prospectus 2020, uh, is the very important uh, publication that you can consult for all of the details as regards admission, the programs, um, anything to do with academic policies and procedures, and uh, that is accessible through our college website under the faculties drop down menu, and you will find the prospectus there. I would like to invite you to join Helderberg College. We are a proud institution uh, because of our student numbers. We have small classes which enables us to do the lectures and other staff to do individual mentoring. Most importantly, we offer values-based education, a holistic learning experience, discipline-specific critical thinking. And our graduates truly leave here well equipped and well qualified to either study further or to enter the, the world of work. So I invite you again to come and join us. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, my name is Tanki Solid Sedi. I'm here to represent the Student Services Department. In the Student Services Department, we take care of a student when the student leaves the classroom. And we make sure that the student is accommodated in environments that are conducive for learning, for spiritual development, and also for social development. Uh, we also have uh, facilities which encourage uh, physical development on campus. And as to the dormitories, my colleagues will come and explain what kind of dormitories do we have. And in terms of uh, our cafeteria, we believe that there is a link between what a student eats and their academic development. And that if they don't eat well, they don't perform well at school. Thank you very much. I'm Linda Njeti, the Faculty of Business. In the Faculty of Business, we offer BBA Management. It's a three-year degree. And we offer Econ Accounting. It's a four-year degree program. And we offer one-year higher certificate in office management. Our students receive good training from excellent faculty members who are well qualified and experienced. And, uh, our graduates, we, our students, we offer good support program for them. We offer mentoring, we offer uh, tutorials for additional support, and our college provides adequate facilities for them for good learning uh, for the students. And our graduates are employed in different places. They, they are employed by government departments, financial institutions, retail sector, banks, and other entities. They are employed as project managers, consultants, analysts, and uh, office managers, customer relations managers, and HR managers in various uh, entities in the business sector. And uh, we welcome each of you for tuning in, and we want you to enroll at Helderberg and join this amazing journey. And we promise you that we deliver quality service, we offer you good education, and which will make you employable in the future. We welcome you. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Rina Shaw, and I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Social Sciences and Education. Now, people often ask us, what does it mean, social sciences? Do you offer science degrees? Well, let me explain this to you. 
uh, social sciences actually just means that the two of the programs that we offer, psychology and communication, fall under that heading. So I will tell you a little bit more about that right now. Uh, I just want to tell you about our faculty. This faculty aims to provide quality education. Uh, as was said earlier, we aim for holistic development of students. Our faculty also provides stimulating, rigorous and globally integrated learning experiences. Why do we do this? Because we want to empower our students to gain uh, innovative skills so that they are suitable for the marketplace. And our graduates, because of this training they receive here, all find sustainable and creative occupations. As I said, we provide uh, courses in the communication department, uh, in education, as well as psychology. And I'm really excited about the education degree that we offer. We offer a Bachelor of Education in Foundation Phase Teaching. And this degree qualifies you to become a teacher in the Foundation Phase in the primary school. That is from Grade R to Grade 3. So our students can go out with practical knowledge, having done practice teaching, having done modules such as handwriting and art, where they learn how to actually uh, really do well in a classroom. Our communication degree has two streams. Uh, there is the uh, media studies degree uh, stream that you can follow, and then there's also the corporate communication. The media studies is also a very practical degree where students learn how to uh, film, how to do photography, uh, web page development and so forth. So they are well qualified for the workplace once they leave our campus. The psychology degree also has two streams. There is the counselling psychology and then there is the industrial psychology. So these two streams aim to uh, prepare the students in the first place to become efficient workers in the workplace. A lot of practical work involved as well. Uh, practical in the sense of research, of communication, where they learn how to uh, conduct interviews, uh, how to conduct counselling sessions, so they are well prepared. The industrial psychology also involves uh, counselling or also just working uh, in the industry, in workplaces where they are able to employ the skills that they've learned. Uh, but most of all, we are also preparing our students to be ready for postgraduate work. Because in the field of psychology, the further you can go, the better it is. So looking at these three uh, very important degrees that we offer, uh, together with that, we have small classes where you have the opportunity to have close communication with lecturers. There's an ample space for discussion, for group work. Uh, you learn how to do presentations. So this definitely prepares a student for the workplace and to be uh, fit for any career that they may choose. And therefore I invite you to come to Helpable College of Higher Education and decide to do one of these very, very practical and very advanced courses. Thank you very much. Very good afternoon. My name is Adrian Platz and I am the Dean of the Theology Faculty and we are responsible at the moment for one program that is the BA in Theology and the goal of this program is to use pastors for the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Um, we have a broad uh, spectrum of lecturers that lecture in the various fields of the theology program. These include Biblical Studies. Uh, biblical Studies is, include subjects such as New Testament, Old Testament, as well as Greek and Hebrew and Biblical Exegesis, which is the ability to unpack, unpack Scripture. We also have Missiology, which is taught largely by Professor Edia Polis 
and includes areas such as evangelism. Uh, we have evangelism field school, which actually occurs in your final year at Heidelberg, which is a four-year program. And the reason for this is that we want you to employ all of the skills that you've learned while at Heidelberg while performing in some form of evangelistic crusade. There's also homiletics. Homiletics is taught by uh, Dr. Gerald Dupree and is the science of preaching, if you like. So many, many students like to come to Heidelberg in order to learn how to preach, um, although there are many subjects that feed into homiletics. I myself teach systematic theology and many people get confused by this subject uh, but it's really very simple. If you open your church manual, you'll find towards the back a chapter called Fundamental Beliefs, which includes things like Doctrine of God. So if you look at the first a few beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, in this chapter you'll find the Holy Scriptures, the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy, Holy Spirit, before you reach the Doctrine of Humanity, which includes the Doctrine of Humanity and the Doctrine of Creation. And then we move into the area of doctrine of salvation, which begins with a great controversy. And you can go through all of the fundamental beliefs, 28 in all, and we cover these in systematic theology. These are the subjects that you will tend to learn here, or appraise through the modules, but not only will you be qualified to be a pastor in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, you will also receive a BA in theology, which is accredited by the South African accreditors, which will enable you to do further studies at places like uh, Stellenbosch, UCT, and other of our public institutions here in South Africa. The program is practical. We have many practical aspects attached to all of the programs, including pastoral practicum subjects, where you have to uh, go into local churches, you have to observe the various uh, ordinances that we do, and then you have to participate where you will learn to pastor under, under pastors in the district as well as in local churches. Uh, there are other practical aspects that we cover on campus, but you'll learn more about that when you get here. We look forward to seeing you, and uh, I'll leave it there, and thank you for your time. God bless. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Colin Lawrence and I'm the Dean of the Men's Residence, that is the Salisbury House here at the Heldenberg College of Higher Education. And I've been at Salisbury House for the last 12 years and what a privilege it has been to work with young men, to mold, to guide, to interact as we prepare them for the world of work. At Salisbury House we have 45 rooms in our dormitory with two students in the room, that would give us a total of approximately eight, uh, 90 students in our dormitory. The other physical facilities we have uh, in the dormitory, we have a chapel for our evening worship, we also have a kitchenette, we also have bathrooms on the various floors, and then a laundry room where students can use to wash and to dry their clothing. But it's the, the things that students do as a family to keep us together, to mold us together, and to allow us to grow as men at Salisbury House. And so the spiritual and, and outreach activities form a, the backbone of our programs. We have a prayer group in the evenings where students can come and just bring their needs to the prayer group and pray for God, to God, to strengthen them during difficult times. We have our evening chapels for the Anthesa House and Salisbury House where we have wonderful, vibrant programs. Our programs also take place in the Anderson Hall. And so music forms a very important part of the singing culture at Haldenberg College. And so our choir participates in programs in the chapel in the evenings in Anderson Hall for our Sabbath worship services. And also they go to various churches where our choir present various programs. Outreach programs are also very important and in the community the students from both houses and FISA and Salisbury House are actively involved in going out to the community for various programs. They visit old age homes, we have our annual youth global day programs where the students participate in, where we serve the needs 
of the community. But it's also through the social and sports programs that you build a strong family. And so at Salisbury House, we have soccer teams on campus. We have a soccer league for those who love soccer, and the students can join any of the soccer teams to participate in the sports activities. On our soccer field, they can play against the various teams. We also have a gymnasium where students can work out, and then we also have a swimming pool where our dormitory students can participate in swimming activities. We also have a mini Olympia that we have in the gymnasium from time to time and so we use the gym hall to have various activities to allow the students to interact with each other physically. Annually the students participate from the two dormitories on campus in the annual conference Youth Olympia and there we meet young people from all the churches in Cape Town and we participate in the annual Youth Olympia. The students in the two dormitories also have opportunities to visit Cape Town, to visit the beautiful sites, the waterfront and other programs and other sites in Cape Town. And so our slogan basically at the Salisbury House, your home away from home. And so if you want to join us, feel welcome to join us as we prepare young men for the place of work. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my name is Lebohang Pani. Um, I'm going to cover almost everything that Mr. Lawrence has covered. I am the resident uh, dean for the Lady Storm. And all the programs that my colleague just covered uh, is the programs that we do as well and activities. But Enfisa House is a three-story house um, with three floors. We can accommodate up until, I think, up to 120 students, uh, until 120 students. We have a chapel where we can have a group of personal devotion. We have an open floor foyer with couches. We have a TV room, we have study room, we have laundry facilities. Um, each room has got about two, two beds, two drawers, two, two of everything um, a girl can need. Um, if you go to my, if you join me on my, um, on my Zoom later on at three o'clock, I will show you the pictures of how our dormitory, our dormitory looks like. Um, one of the programs that we have is the prayer band, which we meet every Thursday and every Monday. We have Young Adventist Women's Ministry, where we talk about issues that affect us as young women. We have book club, where we read any other book. It can be a spiritual book, it can be a, a social book. We read and then we share our views and our thoughts and what we have learned from the book. We have community service where we go out and, 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 out, and do outreach programs to our neighboring communities. We have potluck where once a month or once in two months we meet and we eat together with the girls. And then we have girls talk every now and then, roughly on a Thursday, where we have our girls chat and talk about issues that affect us as women. And then we have a netball club, of course, for everyone who likes to, to, to be active and stay active and do other exercises. So join me at 3 o'clock where I will have more information and I will show you pictures and then we can interact and I can answer some of the questions that you may have. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Sibylle Dag. I am the admissions officer, your key into entering Harvard College. Uh, for you to be a student at Harvard College, you have to first apply. It's an easy way to apply. Visit our website, www.hche.ac.za. From our website, you will find an icon which says how to apply, and you apply online. Application is fairly easy. There are certain informations that will require for you to apply. 
Firstly, there is the personal data. This is who you are, where you come from, uh, that information. The second one, as you have heard that we are a higher education institution, you would need to have passed grade 12 for you to apply. You would need to have passed grade 12 with the bachelor's. Uh, by a bachelor's, you would need to have passed your grade 12 uh, standard. We also do take students from international countries to come study with us. Those are the things that you would need. Secondly, we would need to know about your financial information, how will you pay your school fees. And then you would choose the, the qualification that you want. Preferably, choose two. If you are not accepted in the first one, you can do a second qualification. The qualifications have been mentioned by our deans, but there are certain things that you need to attach for your application to, to be successful. The first thing is a certified ID document. The second thing that you need to attach is a certified copy of your metric certificate. You need to have paid an application fee. The, the website will guide you on how much the application fee is for South African students and for international students. And the other thing that you need, you need to have a copy of your medical aid. There are certain requirements that are required for you to study theology. There are certain things that are needed as well. Firstly, it's a recommendational letter from your local church. Secondly, it's a recommendational letter from your district pastor. Thirdly, it's a recommendational letter from your conference president. And lastly, it's a copy of your baptismal certificate. After you have submitted all your qualifications, what will be required is your application and admissions committee will sit and review your application. If you are successful, an acceptance letter will be sent to you detailing when registration and when you can come register with us in the college. All the best. If you have any questions, we will meet at the Zoom session at 3 o'clock. Thank you very much. Welcome to the virtual tour of Helderberg College of Higher Education campus. We start our tour at the Anderson Hall. This hall is where all assemblies are held and special events such as graduation.
the Department of Social Sciences and Education, located on the top floor. On the second floor are all the admin offices, such as student services, finance, and the president's office. As we make our way out the door and down the stairs of the admin building, we walk along this way towards the library. The Peter Vessels Library has three floors. Each floor houses literature and textbooks related to each of our faculties. It is a great place to study and do research, as it is very quiet. Our library staff are always ready to help find literature you are looking for. As we make our way down the stairs and across the road, we see the entrance to Anne Fisser House, our ladies' residence. It has 44 rooms and 21 guest rooms and can accommodate 90 students. As we make our way down the road to our next stop, our IT building, we can see a large section of the campus and how beautiful it is. We pride ourselves on having nature be a part of our grounds. You even have the opportunity to do hikes on Helderberg Mountain with guided trails. Here we have the IT building. This building houses the computer lecture rooms as well as the computer lab where students can work on assignments, do research and print their documents. Right next to the IT lab is our gym. It has a large indoor basketball court as well as a weight section. Below that we have the cafeteria where you will receive healthy and balanced meals. We also have a wood fired pizza oven for when you want a cheat day. This is our pool. Our grounds department goes through great lengths to keep the salt water pool clean and ready to use. This is a very popular location during the summer. As we make our way down the road, we are met by the Theology Building. This building houses Theology Lecture Rooms as well as the offices of the Theology Lecturers.
as we make our way back the way we came, we have Salisbury House, our men's residence. It is three levels, 45 rooms, and can accommodate 90 students. As we make our way back to the admin building, we reach the center of campus. This is one of our landmarks, the Bell Tower. The bell is rung at graduation as a declaration that our graduating students are starting on the next phase of their life as competent and ethical young people ready to make a positive difference in the world. Thank you for joining me on this tour and I hope in the near future you can come and see the campus for yourself and experience the very unique atmosphere we have here. You won't find it anywhere else.